as well I have some antifreeze as well as some distilled water and this filter actually gets cut into four pieces and a piece of it goes into the tank that's just to cut down on um, the bubbles as well as remove some particles that might be in the water the next step is testing the system and you want to do this in an area where you're not concerned about possible water leakage first of all right here I'll look at the tank this is really where the water goes as well as the antifreeze if you want to put any uh, radiator antifreeze in here that's completely up to yourself I would recommend doing that again using around 10 percent of the volume you put in dedicated to the antifreeze the antifreeze and the water goes in the tank right here and you want to fill this up before you turn the pump on and when you turn the pump on you'll probably see that it will completely drain all of the water that's in here don't worry about that too much just go ahead and top it up and make sure if you're adding antifreeze to go ahead and measure right around 10 percent of volume make sure that you're using a funnel when you're adding the water as well as the antifreeze also a towel is a good idea to just really soak up any water that could potentially spill now I'm going to go ahead here and add the water. You can go ahead and just fill it up like so. You can see here it's spilling over at the top a little bit, but don't worry about that because you have the towel there on the bottom. Now you can see here it's gone completely dry. So you can go ahead and continue filling it up. Now the system is pretty much full of the distilled water at this time. You can see there's no bubbles in the system as well. If I zoom in here, I still got the cap undone and you can see the water as it's going through here. The final thing to do is just to place the cap back on the top here. Just make sure that when you, before you do this, just top this up with water and you're finished. Then basically to leave this for four hours at least or overnight to make sure leave it on to make sure there's no leaks once you have left this on for a minimum of four hours I recommend 12 to 24 hours and you're 100 percent certain that this is not going to leak the next step is to take all this and install it inside your case and that is really up to you you can put the pump in the tank anywhere normally on the bottom the radiator as well and the fan can go almost anywhere it really depends upon the size of your case the existing fans that are in your case and so on and so forth right now I have the pump actually on and you simply can't hear it and certainly when it's inside the case you're you're not going to hear it at all now the fan is another story however this fan only spins at 2000 400 rpm so it's going to be pretty quiet as well let me go ahead and plug the fan in so you can hear actually how loud this whole cooling system would be let me switch the fan on and that is how quiet this complete water cooling system is overall as I've shown you this kit is pretty simple to put together also you can find out more information on the procedure of how to install it as well as some testing as well as some recommendations on their own website now why would you go ahead and buy a water cooling kit in the first place well low temperatures is the big thing you want to keep your temperature really low this is going to do it for you. I was using an AMD Athlon 1800 at 2000. The voltage was 1.85. I got a result at max load of 28 degrees Celsius. That is fantastic. Now the disadvantages with a water cooling system is water first of all conducts electricity and if it spills over components inside is a potential of frying things inside of your case also it's quite expensive compared to a cooler but again if you get a cooler and you want it to really keep it down to 32 33 34 degrees Celsius it's going to be quite loud and with a kit like this it's very quiet so overall this kit is definitely kick-ass 
Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, be sure to pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And when you're there, you can go in and register. Registration is completely free. If you haven't already registered, you can go in there and leave all kinds of suggestions and comments. You can find out all kinds of information about all the products I video review. Until the next time, take care.